G'day mate, how's it going? It's your mate Benny Mac, back again in the Scar Model Garage. Hope you're doing well my friends. Oh, today's update fellas, it's the uh, last day of holidays for me for the Easter break. So, um, going to do an update on the Chevy Cheeseburger Challenge build. Managed to get the decals down and the final clear coat. and Had a bit of a boo-boo yesterday. I Tested out something on some spoons that worked well and then I did it on the car and it kind of gave me a nasty orange peel effect but I think I got it back to where it doesn't look too bad and I'm hoping once I polish it out and wax it, it um, it'll look pretty good I reckon, hopefully. So, uh, always still learning fellas, you're always making mistakes but it's the only way you'll learn. But I thought I'd show you what I've done there and just a quick waffle about clear coats and sort of that was a big issue when I first got into the hobby trying to figure out how to get a good clear coat, get that real nice shine going. So um, I'll set up here on the bench fellas and we're already fellas, okay. here we are on the bench. Uh, I've got a few different clear coats set out and what I use for my finishing polish and wax just to give you a quick look at that. And sort of what troubles I've had along the way, um, as you can see the RX-7 there looking pretty nice and shiny. That's actually been clear coated with a couple of clears over there which I had a little bit of a disaster yesterday. Tried it on a spoon and it worked beautiful and I did it on the car and it, I don't know, to look at it there it looks, you wouldn't even know if I didn't tell you really. I might even just get a close up and see if you can... It had like a very fine orange peel look to it. And you can kind of just see it on the roof there. But another lesson learnt. I'm just glad I kind of saved it, got it back to where I liked it. So, because I, I didn't want to have to strip this one, fellas. I was really happy with the paint job. I shouldn't have been playing around with stuff. I should have just did what I knew that was going to work and stuck with it. So, anyway, after I finished painting the. Um, Auto wear paint on the RX-7. I've been using this Squirts Clear, the White Knight product. And I came to realise actually making a mistake in the box stock community build. Um, I had a mate that actually paints cars for real and he told me to try this stuff. It's just a 1K acrylic clear. Found it at a body shop place, specialises in paints and stuff like that. It was a little bit expensive, I think it was like $30 for the tin. It's not too bad, I suppose, but because it's a massive tin, it was going to last me forever if it worked. But if you go back and watch my community build when I sh um, did the clear coat, it might have even been the final video. I can't remember now, sorry guys. But yeah, it was just a disaster through the airbrush. I brought the premium acrylic to thin it with and... Um, yeah, just didn't happen and I managed to save it actually using this because I was going to strip it. And as a last resort, I had this sitting on the bench and I never tried it on models and I thought, oh, well, what's the worst that's going to happen? So I just bombed a few coats of that on there and, man, I think that was the shiniest build that I've done to date. So, anyway, so that leads me to what I did yesterday. I had originally, after the auto wear, I cleared it with this. And being an enamel, I don't, I, to my understanding, I thought enamel would have eaten into acrylic. And But it doesn't. It gives the auto wear a wicked shine, man. I really love it. And So I already given it a clear with that before I put the decals on. Decals went on yesterday, and I hit it with the Pledge 1 go, which is what I've previously used for my clears on all my builds. It was pretty much the equivalent of the future you guys in the States use. It was just the Australian version that I found here, but I haven't found it since. It's been discontinued. So, But anyway, I sprayed that over the decals because on a military build, I sprayed this over decals and it ate into the decals and silvered them and it looked terrible. So I put the pledge over so the decals didn't get eaten on the RX-7 because I really didn't want that to happen. And then while I was spraying the pledge on that, I sprayed it on a test spoon as well with some paint on it. And once it all dried, I smashed the spoon with the squirts, white knight. And man, it came out shiny, beautiful, 
didn't have any dramas, didn't react or anything. So I thought, oh well, save me getting the airbrush dirty if it's going to come out that shiny, I'll just use the spray can. So I started putting a light coat on it and it was looking alright, so I got a bit heavier, put a nice wet coat on it. And to my horror, the decals started to bubble up and... I was like, oh my god, what's going on? And the whole body sort of started to get that orangey peel look to it. And I thought, oh, here we go. So I just threw it in the box, let it sit overnight. I came out the next day and all the decals had laid back down again and looked pretty good. And still had that orange peel look. So I sanded it, wet sanded it with some 1500. Made it look pretty crappy, but... Um, sort of got a little bit out, I didn't want to sand too deep, I didn't know how much clear I had and I didn't want to ruin the decals and oh, I was just stressing out yesterday so anyway wet sanded it with the 1500 came out gave it another good coat with the pledge one go and that's the result that I have now so and to finish I normally well I've only used it twice now fellas I use the Tamiya polishing compound I haven't got the Novus so I wouldn't mind trying the Novus but I've got that now so I might as well use that um, I haven't used the course yet I might give the course a go on this guy and then the fine then the finish and then I use the Meguiar's deep crystal wet look um, yeah, use that on a couple of builds now and gives it a real, oh my god, gives it a real nice shine. <laughs> it's alright fellas, it's under control. And the only thing I've got left to do on the RX-7, I've got to paint the spoiler and the mirrors. And I'm still tossing up whether I want to do the black on the glass. I probably will, because I, I don't know. What's your opinion fellas on putting black on glass? Would you rather tape it up and paint it? Or would you rather just get a, a marker, a permanent marker, and just draw it on there? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments, guys. So, that's about it for today, fellas. I just thought I'd do a bit of a waffle on my clear coat fails and attempts at trying to, <laughs> you know, get a good clear coat without going too crazy. So, once all this is finished, uh, I was talking to Chris Chapman a while ago on Google Plus Hangouts, and he's also done a few videos on it lately on the Ellie's Totally Awesome Up and Shine. Um, I brought this in a $2 shop, it cost me $3. How does that work? $3 in a $2 shop. I got ripped off. Anyway, uh, I just saw it before I even heard about it, thinking that it might work because I couldn't find the pledge anymore, so that was going to be my next shot. And so, yeah, I've actually got a bottle of it, Chris. So, uh, I might give that a go on my next build, see how that goes, because I really like the shine you get on your builds, man. So, I'll be giving that a go for sure. So, alright, fellas, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope <laughs> it didn't get too confusing with my waffle there. Just thought I'd get out of the way, chilling out here on the last day off of my holidays. Thought I'd do one last update anyway, guys. So, thanks for watching, fellas. Um, thanks for commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. Keep the good videos coming, the awesome builds and tips and questions and all that stuff. So, you guys have yourself a good day, or night, wherever you're from. It's your mate, Benny Mac, saying. Catch you later, mate.